Okay, so in this video what we'll be doing is picking up where we left off. Um, we just did the virtual axis and we'll start the programming for axis 1. Now what we'll do is come in and add in uh, the uh, axis 1 we'll call this axis 1 um, MAPC well we can call it uh, yeah, let's call it MAPC and then controls. <clears throat> okay, so that's got it in there. <clears throat> what we can do now is come in and start adding in some basic functions that we're going to be doing. So we'll throw in a couple uh, rungs to actually control some things. First and foremost, uh, let's throw in some controls for the servo states. So we want the off, the on, or let's do this, let's do on, uh, let's do a shutdown reset and a uh, standard reset. So we'll do a shutdown reset and a standard reset and on. Um, then at this point we'll start if it's on, what we'll do is we'll start doing the um, the actual uh, MAPCs. But first and foremost, let's go ahead and get the actual basics in. So uh, again, first and foremost, what we want to do is click put in our axis that we're going to be controlling on and resetting. Um, so and then cutting on. So at that point, um, the tags for this, uh, again, these are just motion tags. We'll just put axis 01, um, and then we'll just call it whatever, it, whatever the function is for that matter. And then we'll say axis 01, and this is the uh, motion axis fault reset. This is the axis one, O one uh, motion axis shutdown reset, and we'll create that. And this is the MSO, which is cutting the axis on uh, M. So, okay. So now that we have those in there, <clears throat> we need to have functions to tell it to come on. Um, now, one thing I like to do too is come in here and do a first scan. Um, so we'll add that in and we'll throw in just a starter for a first scan. So we'll do first. And throw that in. Um, <clears throat> and you'll see what I'm, what I'm doing in, the, in a little bit. So what I want to do is throw in some kind of state machine as far as understanding the controls of it so we definitely want to know <clears throat> if um if the system we you know what what kind of system it is in at, the, at that point in time so once we cut it on you can throw in a move right here uh, once we do these uh, we can throw in moves down here actually let's do this let's uh come in and cut up put a couple of branches in here and then we'll do uh, move and this will be a move as well so what we'll do at this point is come down and do our final move for the uh, at least for now um, and then we'll come in and put the compares in front of it so um, basically if equal to um, same thing if equal to and then if equal to I and mean, I didn't talk about it but this is um, a version 30 example so um, this is running uh, an L73 on a version 30 and it's running a Cerakos network so um, that's just I, I don't know, I didn't talk about that in the first of the video, but I just brought that up now. Um, then we'll do a move here. Uh, let's see. 
And then what we want to have is we'll basically have uh, let's see I think servo states. And then, well, let's just say servo state. Um, this will be a dent, and the dent will have, let's just call this, we're probably not going to have any more than 10 states, but let's just put 20 states in there for now. Actually, let's put 10, because um, I don't want to have to do more than I need to. Um, then we'll come right here, and then we'll go to monitor. And for zero, obviously zero, one. Uh, obviously, we'll we'll fill that with one, uh, two will be two, and so forth. So we'll, we'll go ahead and put those in there as far as this goes. Just a real st simple um, something to keep the, the system in line with itself. What I do? Oh, I see what I did. I put two ones in there. That that will definitely mess me up. Let's straighten that out and keep going. Let's see, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so tried to make that as painless as possible. Okay, so um, now we'll come in here and throw in the state that we want to be in. Obviously, this is um, these states will be like this would be state uh, 0 this will be state 1 and then we'll call this one the current state and then we'll make that just a dent by itself um, so what we want to do is, is throw in a zero to the current state on a first scan and then have the current state transition um, whenever it needs to. Right, so we'll just throw in like a little simple state machine so that the system knows exactly what it's doing. So at that point we want to come in and throw in this will be state two. And then state two and throw in the logic behind that um, this would be obviously monitoring what state we're in and then this would be state three so just a little uh, something simple to uh, indicate where we are in the system and let me undo that Okay, so that's cool. All right, um, then we'll come in and straighten that out real quick. And this would be state four, because we just want to know where we're at. Okay, so now that we have <clears throat> a system that kind of understands where it's at, we don't want to be cutting it off unless it's on, so we want to have standard bits. So um, off on and then we want to say the servo action status um, and we'll come in and grab the servo action status which is down in the bottom of the tags you see I clicked right here to get the uh, everything in alphabetical order so servo action uh, come down here, and if it's off, of course, we're going to um, go and throw a 1 into here. Okay, so if there's no faults, or if it's not shut down, then we won't worry about it. So what I'll do is I'll copy this and say, uh, I'll change this to say fault status. Um, so we can do this one or two ways. We can say if it's faulted, or we can just say if... Um, there's a fault status and what we will do on that is, is throw a actual compare in there and say if it's uh, not equal to zero 
So if it's not equal to zero, then we want to, you know, initiate a fault or initiate it. So this one would be, the next one would be a, um, let's see, axis one, and then this should be shut down. So that if the axis is actually shut down, we want to reset the shutdown. So it should be indicated. <clears throat> Action shutdown status. Let me find it real quick. Mm -hmm. So we'll come in here and I probably went past it. No one will admit what I do sometimes, so and action status. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's come back and go to monitor. And there should be one for shutdown. Bus status. Or it may be under uh, the motion group. Um, either way, we want to monitor that tag so that we can reset the um, that feature. We want to reset the uh, shutdown. Yeah, shut down status. So sometimes you miss it scrolling through here. And then, you know, so that there's that. And then we can say if it is not in a shutdown status, actually let's let's do this. Let's kill this and say if it's not in a shutdown status and it's equal to zero, right? So if we'll say up here is equal to zero then we're good okay so we can we can actually load in a two at that point then this we want to say um, of course if it we don't want to cut it on unless it's it's off paste and then we don't want to transition out of that state unless it's on right so really really real simple logic uh, behind this is if it's in <coughs> If it's in uh, state zero, then obviously it'd come in here. Uh, we don't have it scanning right now, so if we did a JSR, um, then we'd come in here and, and have it scanning uh, right here. Therefore, we come in here and uh, see our logic scanning and stuff. So it's in a, it's in a one right now. Um, the status, obviously, we gotta we have to look at the status. Um, we'll, we'll probably come in here and use a different bit here, but um, in that case, we need to throw in bits as well. We need to throw in control bits, so we definitely need to say, for instance, uh, system start uh, servo. Axis one start. Uh, let's call this system start. So we want to have something to uh, block it, and we'll do is make a new tag here. We want to have something to block all this stuff from happening, unless we want it to happen. So um, and then the on. We want to do the same thing in the on, so we'll come down here and throw. So we'll say uh, axis 01 on uh, PB. So um, again, we'll, we'll come down here and throw a couple more. Uh, I think there's a, let's see, let's match the axis real quick and grab the uh, fault bit.
The thing is, there's a bunch of, there's a drive fault, there's, um, action status is, well, I grabbed the wrong one, so we should actually see, uh, um, actually, uh, a status for faults. Let's see, it should be up here. Drive fault, uh, access fault. So copy this, come back here, and put that in here. Instead of axes, um, the uh, status, we want to say if it's faulted. Okay. That's weird. Let's paste that. Paste that in there. And then same thing here. Paste that in there. Okay, so that should allow us to go to the next state that's the reason behind state control so you can understand where you're at why you're why you're there so now we can actually come in and cut our servo on and once we cut our servo on it should go into three actually we said we're in two and this should this is monitoring three so we actually had another state off so this should be two and this should be three. So that makes sense. Okay, so now we can cut our servo on. And our servo is actually on now, so we're in state three. So we no longer need that. And again, if we wanted to have it go off, we can come back and have, uh, have it go off for any reason. But um, for now, what we can do, and to make sure the first scan is working correctly, as we'll cut it in uh, remote run and then run and this should throw the servo system back into zero so we have a nice controlled atmosphere and um, that actually tells everything what to do so in this first one we'll cut it off and we'll come back and add in the next section of videos or video we'll start doing an MAPC and adding some more controls into here so this was the start of uh, the controls and the i guess the small the little state machine brain for the um, axis one and again this was video two so we'll pick up and go to video three after this and uh, start doing the mapc and adding more stuff into the proper controls of the state logic so this is not done this is just like a rough over um, like a rough draft if you would so uh, just to kind of show you what it takes to get from ground floor to, to you know where we're at and anyway so this is video two so we'll pick up and you know, just keep on going with the series so again thank you for your support and thank you for um, being part of it